I think that's two. From go on to the second case and come back to this? Or what, would um, you, what would you suggest? I'm not sure they're ready either. Is, is, okay, is anybody here for the... Um, which one Warner. Is Kimberly Werner. Kimberly Werner? These two as well, probably. Okay, so shall we get started with that? And okay, hold on just a second, I gotta grab one more thing and then I can <laughs> right. a little disorganized. Oh, where are you from? A little bit. Sure has. But I recognize you. Yeah, absolutely. Can I look over and absolutely, absolutely. look at look at your answers? Yeah. <laughs> Chewed off your page. That means what I want to make sure you have. Oh, who wants to do the checklist tonight? Don't everybody. Uh, and we do have Eric. Eric and Vicky are missing. No, Eric's right here. Oh, Eric's there. Any Vicky? Vicky is not going to be in attendance. Okay. Um, and do you know about David Kahn? Uh, last I talked to him, he said yes, but I won't, I won't All right. take any um, guarantees. I'm going to appoint uh, Rich, Rich Mankin. Would you? Yeah. Eric's asking. Yeah, hi. Yeah, I, I was hoping you could appoint somebody to just sit for me. I just have a long day and Okay. Move along, uh, young sir. All right, uh, so yeah, I'm going to... Uh, yeah, and I, br I brought the book for you again, but one of these days you'll get it and then not read it. I do have a book for you when you get here. Anyway, um, uh, uh, get some rest. Okay, I'm going to appoint Rich Mengi and uh, for Eric Rich Brown. For Vicky, okay. and we've used up all of our riches. <laughs> so let's uh, get on to the what's the name on this one? Um, the Werner the 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 property. Um, is there anybody who is speaking for um, this case? We, we might have some questions, but she's not here. No, but is anybody <coughs> representing? Okay. So we don't have anybody for either of these. <laughs> oh boy, so I mean, can we go ahead? We can't go ahead without somebody. Yeah, no, we do. What? Uh, there's nothing, you know, I sent them all the notices and. Do we have that to somebody here? Well, if there are questions. So. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I went out there and looked at it. Well, the, the key issue here is um, that we don't have anybody representing either of the cases. But so, the first, the surveyor said he was coming for the first one. Yeah, I talked what, to about, what about for Werner? I talked to them also and they didn't say they weren't going to go. No. Yeah. Why don't we do the minutes? Uh, and, and give them a little more time. Does anybody have any minutes? Um, I had one thing. I think Helena Witte's name is, there's no H. I think it's W I T T. -E. Yeah, you're correct. Um, and then just a typo. I think it, on the last, the second page, right at the bottom, or at the end, it says, uh, planning board to rewrite the natural release, so I think it should be resources. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, resources. Yeah. 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 That's all I have. And actually one other uh, spelling error, E.B. Clinton is O-N. And it's the two places in the, uh, in the notes. My apologies, E.B. <laughs> Um, any 
other? All right, I'd like to make a motion to uh, move the minutes as amended by Rich Brown and uh, Tim. Uh, do I have a second? I'll second. Okay, Rich Mengi seconds. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Okay. Um, I, I think somebody's coming in. It's lime time. Yeah. <laughs> 15 minutes late is lime time. <sighs> Well, then it's right on time. They didn't realize how efficient we are. Yeah, well, just yeah, inc incredibly efficient. All right. So we'll start with the learners. You're here just in time. Oh. Why don't you, uh, you can bring up some chairs if you like. Uh, you're for the Werner case, right? Yes. You guys know require face mask? I saw it was recommended, uh, but not required. I don't think it's legally required, but, okay. it's, uh, you know. We're, you guys have any extra ones? I'm I have an extra one. On. There you are. Great. You may not want to sit in this Thanks. chair because I put oh, the camera okay. here oh, sorry. to record That's why the session. That's why I made it that session. Should we sit here? Yeah, you can bring the chairs right up behind the table. John Stadler, Chair. Tim Cook, Vice Chair. My name is Rich Brown. <laughs> I'm Rich Mangi. Kim Carter. And I'm Eric Pospisil. I'm the Lancer there. Oh, okay. Okay, great. So, uh, yeah, if you wanted to tell us anything. Sure. Well, um, uh, I, I'm the Lancer there uh, that produced this plan. Uh, my name is Eric Pospisil. I did this work last fall. Um, well, late winter, fall. It's uh, been a while. When did I do this? November? Um, I actually think <laughs> there was snow. Uh, there was a lot of snow around. Yeah, it was the last year. When he, anyway, um, Kim has a uh, 11 acre lot, 11 plus acre lot that we like to uh, subdivide uh, into two over uh, greater than five acre lots. Um, I mean, we worked with David throughout this process and he was very helpful in assisting us with uh, any questions I had. So I've been through your regulations and the rules for subdivision and Lyme and hopefully this plan will um, be acceptable. So, okay. I mean, I don't, it, it does speak for itself. I yeah. think I provided you guys with test, we have test bit data and we have a wetland scientist who did some delineation on the property and um, I, we did lot, our lot calculations. So. All right, well, well, we'll be going through, we have to go through a checklist, mm -hmm. so um, if any questions come up, it'll sure thing. start to come up. Uh, could, could, here. could I uh, ask a couple of questions? Of course you can. Um, a couple of things I was noticing on the plans. Uh, it says proposed 4K area. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? That's, that, that has to be a replacement. The replacement septic yeah. system. Area for so is that 4,000 square feet? Yeah, that's the okay. state requires um, you to set aside 4,000 square feet or show that you have 4,000 square feet that you can um, put a, a new septic in. So that and that's a state, right? that's yeah. not a local requirement. Yeah, so it, uh, and so is that supposed to be in a place where the existing system is now, or, or it's where one can be placed? So it, it may be where there is an existing system if the existing system is going to be completely removed or it can be in a, a new location. Okay. So. And then the second question I had was uh, um, there's a, a cut in the, uh, a, it almost looks like a curb cut in the stone wall mm -hmm. and there's a bunch of red, pink or red flagging there and I just was curious what that in, uh, was for. So that was for, I, you want yeah, to? Yeah, I can speak to that. Um, 
So I um, contracted with Charlie uh, DeVoe um, and um, Ernest, Ernest, Ernest Kling, who I understand is our new fire warden, um, yep. to remove um, the invasives. And I essentially um, asked them to make the property line look like Mr. Lee's across the street from me. He's done a wonderful job just removing all the underbrush. Uh -huh. and, um, so they are just going on the property line and cleaning things up and taking up the dead. So was that intended to become a curb cut or? Um, no, that's that's actually a separate project and that will not be, a, they're going to replace the stones after they're oh, finished. Okay. They just did that turn in there and put them okay. to the driveway wouldn't be there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we, I talked to Kim about doing a curb cut permit. Um, and first thing is um, Scott Bailey is out on medical leave so he's wouldn't be able to um, do that right now anyway. Um, and because your intent was to sell the property, uh, the new owner may wish to put a driveway in a little different location, and it seems to be putting the cart before the horse um, to go out and have a curb cut done um, when um, it may not be the, where it's going to be. But they're showing where one could be. Right. All right, uh, more questions? No, All right, we'll get right down to the, um, to this. Uh, names and lists of each of butter by map and lot. Yep. Okay, uh, names of the business addresses of every engineer, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Uh, topographic map. I'll be drawn to the same scale. It's, it's all on the same okay. sheet. Uh, all right, conservation district map. Yep. Size requirements of Grafton County Registry of Deeds. Yep. Scale no smaller than 100 feet. Yep. Complete boundaries and area of entire parcel, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Location of zoning district boundaries. Yep. Line conservation district boundaries and acreage. Yep. They should be there and they should be listed. Yeah, okay. We see that. Everybody good with that? Um, if you could point it out to me. So if you look, um, and there's, there's several different places where you you know, there's a, on uh, the western side, you'll see where there's a 100-foot wetland setback uh -huh. listed. You can see where there's a 100-foot shoreline oh, yep. And then up here, you can see the, where they've uh, put down all the soil types. The soil types here? Yeah, that's all that. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, this, this light line right here is, this, is the deep slopes. Mm -hmm. Here, yep. like deep slope, 30 20 percent. Uh huh. So, so this meander thing here. Mm -hmm. And then it's flat out here, and then it's steep here. Yeah. I mean, basically, it's steep right along there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Uh, Okay, that's fine. Okay. Uh, soil types, etc. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, surface water drainage ditches and swales. Um, I'm not sure, you know, I don't see anything. There, there's, um, you know, the ditches along the roads are, where the culverts are shown. Um, I'm not sure there is any surface water on the property. It's the brook. Yeah, it's the brook. It's yeah. shown along the property line. Yeah, and that's shown along the property line. So well, there's also a little pond, or it appears to be a pond. That, are those uh, probably where the wetland yeah, is? Yeah, it's right in the middle of that wetland. Yeah. That's, that, these wetlands, as they're shown, are delineated by this wetland scientist. Yep. And uh -huh. so this wetland, it, it, th there's this wetland, um, and then there's a setback. This is the, this line right here is the setback to that. This is the hundred foot setback right here to this delineated wetland. Okay. And, and then this one too. Correct. Yeah. 
Correct. Yeah. So, so like this one, they overlap each other. Sure. Yes. And so, you know, so where this one overlapped 100 feet, mm -hmm. this one overlapped 100 feet. This is the apex or the point where the two yeah. uh, intersected. So where they intersect, you know, they just trimmed out and you know they overlap. So. So this is a hundred foot oh, setback from this edge. From this edge, okay. Yep. Because from this edge is a hundred feet. This edge is a hundred feet. This line right here mm -hmm. is a hundred feet until it meets the hundred foot setback. Um, the street. Yeah. Well, actually, this one. Oh. oh so okay. there's. Yeah. Oh, this is the wetland. Yep. This is the wetland. Oh, or this is the edge oh, of the wetland? Yeah, there's just one up here. Too. Oh, okay. So uh, the, the triple That's it, you're right, is you're the right. wetland. I'm sorry. Yes, so there's, this, there's a shoreland setback oh. zone, mm -hmm. and then there's the okay. wetland setback zone. That's what you're saying. Yep. And then there's a, another wetland shown up here. Great. Right. Mm -hmm. So I don't know whether. So, a, so where the is the pond should... you're talking about? Is that in the middle of the central? It's right, right next to the road as you're coming oh. up. Up the hill from the bottom of the plan sheet. I, I'm a, I'm tending to think it's it's it, in this little area. If it, it's right here. The it's, it's, on the yeah, it's in here. It's in the, in the middle of this what the line. Okay. Is that is that anything we need to? No, it's uh, uh, right. less than an acre. Okay. So we can say yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, subdivision layout map. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Size per requirements of Grafton County Registry deeds. Um, scale no smaller than 100 feet per inch. Yeah. Be prepared sign certified by a New Hampshire licensed land surveyor. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can see it. I can see it. Uh, complete boundaries and area of entire parcel. Yep. Yeah. Uh, existing and proposed right of ways, line, blah, blah, blah. Existing and proposed lot lines, angles, and dimensions, etc. Yes. Mm -hmm. Location of existing and proposed easements, including old wells, water rights, rights of way, and areas affected by existing and proposed covenants, reservations, and restrictions benefiting the pertinent property. The only thing I did note, what noted was that I believe it was our head, overhead correct power line, and I don't know if there's just an easement just for the the line, or if they have a distance. I, did not find a distance. There's yeah. not a setback. It's just the right to maintain poles and yeah. wires. And so is that shown? Yes, yeah, that is shown. Along the road. It's to, it runs along the road and then it diagonals through her field, and then back out onto the road. So yeah. it's marked yeah. over here. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, this one right here. Okay. Location of existing and proposed parks and other open space, etc. Yeah, that's kind of a not applicable. Okay. okay. Uh, location of existing and proposed utilities, well, septic, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Location of zoning district boundaries. Um, that one I, is that? One district. You have noted that it's, uh, it's all in the rural district. I do. It should say up there that the property is, yep. Where's that? Where's the that? that? It should say what was it going to. Yep. This plan is based on property land. Oh, right here. number seven. The subject parcel is in the rural zone. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm on the side. I thought I saw it, but I just couldn't remember. remember. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. Uh, name, address, and map, and lot numbers of everybody. Um, we have the names and the map and lot numbers, addresses, um, and, and I did check, and everybody is correct. Um, just that the board would like to have the addresses added to the well, plan or not. That's what it says. Yeah. So, so, okay. Okay. so, as opposed to the, so the applicant. The address is on the application. Yes, sir. but the uh, the board does okay. like to have it. Yeah. Okay. And you said those are okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that'll be that'll be a condition. Yes. Uh, okay. Site location map showing location of proposed subdivision. Blah blah blah. Okay, all surface water on and within 200 feet. Yep. All right, we're, we're closing in. 
property setbacks according to Table 5, 1 of the zoning ordinance. Yes. Final plan, well, we always have this. No, it's, it's really a requirement, but it's, 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 that's to come. To come within 30, or 30 or 60 days, whatever it says. Okay. Uh, lot size and density calculation. Yep. Sewage disposal. Um, all proposed sewage disposal plans, etc. In detail. Um, there, there's just the, the the proposed area. There's no. There's a test pit. The other yeah, test, test pits pit. there. Um, one test pit. Yep. We did a test pit on the property mm -hmm. so it, so that it would meet and do a in a park test. Okay. So it meets the requirements. It's done by a licensed septic designer. Okay. So David, you're satisfied with that? Absolutely. Okay. And in addition to locating the existing septic system and submitting blah, 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 the replacement fully, that's your objective, right? Okay. Uh, provide results of all soil tests, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I have those. Okay. Surface water runoff and erosion. Um. Again, the, you know, they provided the uh, all the, the contour lines. So, I, in my opinion, that that is sufficient to show where water would run off. Okay. Uh, anybody on the board have any questions about that or concern? Yeah, does the water, the ditch along the road, does that water run down the hill anywhere? You know. <coughs> uh, so the culverts. I mean, the culverts do. It run from the road across our property. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the town just yeah. replaced one as well because there was an issue when the house across the street was mm. built up the hill. Yeah. So yeah, these, I mean, you know, everything's flowing downhill, so the, the, that's, that drainage does come onto our property, but like there's one here that I located. There's another one here that's in this ditch line that was delineated. Mm -hmm. it's a, it's a, it's a bit, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And there's only these two. Okay. So everybody satisfied with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, preservation of significant uh, natural and historic features. Didn't see any. So is that an NA? Or? Yeah, I'd say that's an NA. All right. And title matters. Provide a copy of each of the following most recent deed to the property. Yeah, I have that. Okay. And all present or proposed easements covered blah, blah, blah. Got all of those? Yep, yeah, there are none, so. Okay. Uh, National flood insurance? Wouldn't be necessary. NA? NA. All right. Um, so the only thing I, I see is we're asking, will I be asking them as a condition to uh, add the addresses? So, John, I had a question. Has sure. anybody done, I mean, are, what conservation district calculations need to happen as far as 80%? Slope, so well, I thought I yeah, all those yeah, they, thought, so they said that yeah. they had already done. Yeah, yeah. they're on a separate sheet, but I have them, and right. I've gone through them, and I'm satisfied by them. Okay. So is that uh, is that this spreadsheet or this yes. thing here? So uh, I'm still trying to make sure I understand this. So the the minimum lot size required is five acres? Yes. And so if we go through, is it possible we could go through? Sure. Uh, the, whatever, you, whatever you want. These calculations just so yep. I can understand sure. how that's calculated? Sure. We just need to do one of them. So pick your pick the one you want. Well, let's pick lot one. Okay, lot one. So, um, David, you want to walk us through this? No, I'm trying to. It's been a while since I looked at this. So, I, I mean, I. Or maybe. Yeah, are you? Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I, sure. So David, you know, tell us if he's uh, going so, to stray. So, <laughs> you know, as I understand, so there's there's a couple things. The, the lot size calculation. First of all, there, well, David, there's the rule that says that a lot that hasn't been previously subdivided. Yeah. Oh, is this a freebie? Um, yes. Okay. Right. So this, in other words, what we need to, what, what the lot size calculation truly does is it 
establishes the size of the footprint of the building that can be developed on the property and the area that can be. Um, well, it's you gotta, know, you gotta have a driveway. Well, all the different. Um, primarily, it's the building footprint that that we're creating or, or calculating for, because as you said, you know, a lot that has not been subdivided prior to a certain right. period of time. Um, you only have to meet the requirements to establish what the size of the building footprint could be. And so that's what we came to. And that's what this proposed house site represents. Okay. Is the, the area of square footage that the building footprint can be on this lot. Right. And so what you do is you start with the most restrictive and just kind of work your way backwards from the overall area. So the first thing I did was I eliminated the open surface water. So I started with the total mapped area, mm -hmm. eliminated the open water, then eliminated the shoreland setback area. Mm -hmm. um, those areas you're required to count a certain percentage of some of them, including the steep slope. So you get the total area and then you know calculate what 20% of that remaining is. Or I, what I did was I eliminated the 80% and then went to the next, to the next um, conservation district and calculated the steep slopes, was allowed to use 20% of that towards the lot size, eliminated the 80%, and um, just removed all of those areas that were subject to those restrictions until I got the total amount left over. And then there's a, there's a four, it's five, two or five percent. Because it, it says, should say right on my form. Uh, two percent. Two percent. Yeah, so, two percent. so when you're all done, two percent of the um, remaining um, area is allowed for the building footprint. So that's, I mean, that in a nutshell is how I came to those okay. calculations. And of course, those calculations, I have the advantage of being able to use a drafting software, a curate a drafting yeah. software, and generate all those areas mm -hmm. because the lines are so mm -hmm. irregular. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there, is there any agricultural soil there? No. Okay. So, so this is telling us that uh, um, Lot one with the existing house there, that's allowed to have 1,748 square feet. Yep. And that that is the house and decks and garages. I mean, the house and the decks actually, the, the way they're written in the ordinance mm -hmm. are their standalone structures. But So each individual building on this lot could be 1,748. Oh, okay. And then all the buildings combined cannot exceed that the 10 or 89 okay um, so you need a house a garage you yeah. can have multiple buildings of the 1748 um, but you can't exceed a total of the, the 10 or 89 and how are we addressing driveways are they far uh, in the rural district country? they do not count okay unless it's a commercial property okay all right. Um, Thank you very much. Is there so, so for go my, ahead. For my, for my understanding, um, do you not have to subtract? I mean, after subtracting all those, I mean, yes, it's it's used to get um, uh, the, the maximum building footprint. I understand that. Um, doesn't that also subtract from the uh, um, the size of the the lot? A lot or a lot size from whatever. In, normally, yes, but there, if you have a lot that has not been subdivided prior to zoning, yeah, this is a lot, 3B. Um, you are allowed to uh, ignore those calculations for the area calculation. You, you open up the zoning ordinance and look under the definition of a lot. Right. Yeah, so let's do that just so everybody, you know, people who aren't familiar with this, they know what that is. So the foregoing area adjustments shall not apply in determining lot size or the dimensional requirements of Article 5 in the case of one minor subdivision of a lot of record on March 14, 1989. The 
touch of data on the zoning. Mm -hmm. Is that what that means? <laughs> I mean, I've always read that to say there was some quirk right around March 14, 1989. Well, that's when the zoning was adopted. Yeah. Well, that, that, that was a quirk, I guess. Yeah, it was uh, off. Uh, uh, yeah, it, in a way, it should be, you know, or at least it's a lot of record on March uh, 14, 1989. So the time is saying if you have a lot of record that was on, a lot of record on March 1st, 1989. And then this applies. Yeah. And so okay. and so that and that's the definition of treaty. Right. Well that's what we have yeah, call that's, it. Yeah, yeah that's exactly the, okay. It's I, always been referred to as a freebie lot, um, but that's nowhere in the zoning no. Well Sorry. I certainly didn't never saw that. It's, a, it's okay. a, a term of convenience. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that that's what that means. Okay, so does that address okay. what you were asking? This is my question. Okay. Yeah. Anybody have any other questions on before we move on? The public? Um, yeah. Uh, shall we? Do we yeah, I'd like to approve. Um, so I'd like to make a motion to uh, find the, and correct me when I'm wrong, not if I'm wrong. Um, I'd like to make a motion to um, find the uh, minor subdivision checklist complete with the, the condition, uh, the application complete, with the um, note of a condition that the addresses are added, added on. Uh, is is there a second? second. Tim seconds. Uh, are uh, all those in favor? Say aye. All those opposed? None. So all right. So, so now we can open it up to the public. Um, so public, uh, if you have anything to say, please please do. Just curious with the five acre minimum, can any part of that be a wetland or does that all have to not be wetland designated? Well it, it has to it has to qualify, you know, we were just talking about what gets subtracted and everything. Right. And in this case, because of that section we just read, right. the thing we were calling a freebie. Okay. Um, it's it's much uh, less uh, Daunting, I guess, is the way to put it. The, the thing you have to consider is that the, you know, the the minimum size of a lot in the rural district for in this area uh, is five acres. Understood. Um, and but that normally would be calculated by removing the um, portions of the conservation districts. So um, you take out eighty percent of wetlands and. Um, Agricultural soils, depending on the type, would come out at uh, 40 or 60 percent. Okay. Um, but if it is the first time you've done a single minor, you know, single lot subdivision with a minor subdivision, you can forego those calculations for the area calculation for the lot. I understand. But when you go to build, mm -hmm. those do apply, and those mm -hmm. get applied, and that's how we determine how big a structure can go on the lot. I understand. So if you have a lot that's five acres of wetlands and you take out 80% of it, then 2% of what's left is what you could build and be a very small house. So you have to, it's, it, it pays to go through the exercise of looking at all those ahead of time to make sure that the land can support a house of the size that you wish to, to build. Thank you. So does that mean that, that in this case that the uh, uh, the 5.384 acres, is that correct? That's what the lot is currently proposed? Um, yes, 5.34. So if one were to buy it to build on it, whatever's wetland would need to be subtracted from that yes. lot. Um, and that's what the, the calculations we went through. It comes gotcha. down to okay. um, about 1,700 square feet for a single <coughs> building. Awesome. Well, that's that's fun. Um, that's um, lot one. Oh, no, no, no. Lot two oh, is 1,262 oh, square feet. The, yeah. the footprint, the building footprint. The building footprint, yeah. yeah. At the ground level. Whatever. Yeah. Right. Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. If this, if this hadn't been a lot, um, or if it had been created after 1989, mm -hmm. or if there had already been a subdivision taken out, then it wouldn't count as a fee. Thank you. Does that, oh, does that answer your question? Yes. Okay. Um, any other? The road cut. Do you have any idea where that is? Um, 
there's a proposed one where it is now. Yeah, where it is proposed. Um, no. There, there's no guarantee at the moment until, um, you know, even if somebody buys property, even if this we were to go through the whole process of having the um, Scott Bailey look at it and then Tim and approve it as a curb cut, uh, a new owner could come back and say, I really don't like it there, I'd like to move it, and they could be allowed to move that curb cut. So it almost doesn't make sense right now to have someone do it until you know where you absolutely want it. Which is limited between two culverts, which is where you yep. that road cut. Yes, it has to be a, approved by um, the, the road agent, and uh, Tim is the other the planning board member that does the approval. And there's a whole set of criteria that has to be met. So I think you said you're going to put the snow wall back, is that right? Yeah. Yes, that's just a temporary um, cut for the equipment. Um, I guess I can talk to my neighbor later about this, unless this is a so, so, hello, Mr. Lee. Um, so, I'm actually considering, um, and of course working with you, actually making a cut in the hopes that the proposed owner would use that, so to the turbine basin. Because as I say, uh, if you go north, you know, um, it's probably the culvert. And if you go south, you have a culvert. Mm -hmm. And that cut in that stone wall was there back before Hector was a pup. <laughs> and obviously the old timers knew where things were dry and where things were wet when they had to get in the field. And I'm just curious about how much you want to move it one way or the other, or how much you can move it. Mm -hmm. It's got good visibility as you enter from your lot onto Whipple Hill Road. And by first, it's going one way or the other, and you're getting room in it. So, the, the, um, so the, yeah, I can tell you why I um, suggested that we put it where we did. Uh, so it, it is across the street from your current drive. It, so if you're Mr. Lee, it's across the road from your current driveway. That's where the proposed house lot would be. The one that's the, the one that's there now, as she's saying, is just temporary and was going to be, you know, the stone wall is going to be reconstructed. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, well, not quite there. Did you get a chance? Right. No, okay. Well, I, can, I mean, yeah, I know where it is. I saw it. I mapped it. I, I shot both ends of it. So there's your culvert, right? There's your culvert. Yeah. We're coming back down. There's a pole. The last pole just before it crosses the road. Yeah. So it's a little bit. That's your existing. That's your existing cut. We propose one slightly closer to that pole here. If we go down here where the existing stone walls are breached, that's the street of my house. Exactly. And so we had a couple of things we had to do. I was concerned about that, that culvert. That culvert comes across and drains down this way to that little spot. Yeah. And so that culvert goes this way. So we're going closer to the pole, avoiding that's a guy, the guy wire off that pole. And, and, we actually needed to be able to maintain the grades because you also, that's why, yeah. And so the, 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 the driveway requirements are, were such that I made sure that's why it has such a long slide hill so that we kept it under the grades that the town requires for minimum slope. So this is a pretty good, I mean, on paper, it works still, in every way. It avoids yeah. that culvert, it no, avoids the wetland, no, and it meets the slope. Some years ago, this is actually, you know what the feeling is? It's so bad. It's a lot of electric. It's 30. We're now I hope it's 30. Yeah. Yeah, because it's 30. Much better. Much better. Much better. Yeah. Much better. Yeah. Yeah. Much better. Yeah. 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 Understood. 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 Yeah.
I mean, not, nothing can get approved um, if it doesn't meet the requirements that Tim, uh, Tim is familiar with. So what yeah, I was just saying that the speed limit on the road, I think, is 30. So that means that you, you just need 200 feet of sight distance mm -hmm. in both directions. So just stay you know, aware of that. I mean, mm -hmm. decide where to put the driver. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, I looked at it, I, me I didn't measure, but it seems like there's enough. Because if the speed limit is more than 30 miles an hour, then you need 275 feet. Right. So, yeah. so uh, are you, um, if not, I don't know whether satisfied is the right word, but have you gotten uh, better? My questions have been answered and it depends on what start from the Right, answer. right. But you got good information there? Okay, thank you. Um, are there any other questions? All right, so um, we're ready to move on this. Uh, I'll make a motion to um, approve the minor subdivision with the um, conditions, the condition we already mentioned. Um, is there anything else I got to add to that, David? No. All right, is there a second? Okay, Tim seconds it. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Okay, uh, all those opposed, uh, that remains silent. Okay, um, you got it. Great. So, hey, what, we, what we need to do is have you put the, the uh, names and addresses, and then I need two paper copies, a mylar copy. Just one mylar? Just one mylar. And uh, uh, John sign off on those, and we'll send it up to Grafton and do you, do, you, uh, do you like to add final boundaries for the assessor? Um, yeah, sometimes I do that. Right? If you yeah. want to uh, just send me a, uh, a line of the or even boundary. just a PDF of this. Okay. Um, um, I, I also I wanted to thank you for you know the clarity of what you knew combined with this is really helpful. Okay. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. Um, it's great, and I appreciate David. David was super helpful as well. Interpreting the rules. I apologize that my computer went down and wasn't able to help you that day, but we did get through it. Yep, we did. Thank you very much. All right, we got uh, somebody here from James. We got Jacob Burgess. Okay, great. So just, just give these folks a couple of minutes. Well, you don't want to stay for the rest? All right, thank you for coming. Thank you very much. If you need any more questions, I'll be fine. Thank you very much. I'm sure she will. <laughs> no, we already have a chat. Yeah, we'll have a longer chat now. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm this one. Yeah, my wife's saying. Stevenson owns two properties on Market Street, uh, 5 and 7 Market Street. And what he is proposing to do is to give additional acreage to 5 Market Street, which is a very small lot. I think it's only 0 0.06 acres as he currently stands. He is proposing to give it 0 0.04 acres to include the driveway and the majority of the loose field that both properties share. And I have additional copies as well. Thank you for a couple of I did make some slight corrections based on the owner's uh, suggestion. I labeled the well, which is in the right hand corner below the house, um, the, in, in almost in the triangle part. So over this is the, the well in lot 12.2? Yes. Um, that well services both lots. And I addressed that in a note, which is at the bottom of the notes. Yeah, I'm still looking, looking for the well. Right above Tim's pen. Yep, right above Tim's pen. Oh, yeah, with a W. Okay, oh, that's clever. W, well, okay. And I, I did label that, so well done, John. the uh, <laughs> future copies will have that label for any kind of clarification. Okay, where does it say that the well is shared? 
That's on my new map here, which I will show oh, you. Okay. It's, it's a note number three. Oh, yeah, I've got three copies, so I'll keep one. I, I think we just need two. Yep. Um, Based on the other suggestion I made that, and I think it'll be a little bit easier for the okay. board to go so, Oh, I see. And this says existing. Okay. Yeah. And in the notes, it specifies that both lots 12-1 and 12-2 share a septic and well, um, which would be in the middle of the page on the very lowest part. Lots 12 and sure, okay. As part of this um, proposal, Mr. Stevenson has drafted a declaration of easement so that in the future, if this was to be sold, that both properties would share equal responsibility for both the well and the septic system. And I just received that. Yeah. So it's and I have a copy of the septic system if that's something the board would like to look at as well. So basically what we're proposing to do is just add a little additional acreage to 5 Market Street. As right now, the, the old line goes through the current building and Five, uh, 7 Market Street owns the entire gravel driveway, which is part of 5 Market Street currently. Where we're proposing to move the line is an existing fence now, and it, it should be readily apparent to, to really anybody that drives the road and sees, sees it. I did today. Okay. It's pretty apparent. Yep. So where's the driveway? Uh, where it's labeled gravel, below the bleach field. Uh, that driveway services 5 Market Street. So it's like a parking area. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, David, does this render, uh, is anything being made less conforming? Yes. Um, lot 12.1 is losing the um, acreage. Lot 12.2. So, after 12.2, sorry, my mm -hmm. reading from here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's okay. Wrong one. Um, and so we're going, we're making uh, that lot, or you would be making that lot less conforming. Are we allowed to do that? I do not find anything in the zoning that allows you to do that. Um, that was something that Vicki, a question she also raised. Um, in a circumstance with this, making another non-conforming lot more conforming, is that something that negates that? Uh, the, again, there's nothing in the zoning that uh, allows for that. Um, I, I went through the, the zoning. I, I looked through the, the lot size averaging. and I. I spent quite a bit of time trying to find a good way of doing it. And the only thing I can come up with is asking the zoning board for a variance to lot size for 12.2. Well, I don't know what special exception. It could be a variance for the, the actual lot size. Does it apply when both these lots have been created prior to zoning? Because um, both these were right. It doesn't. Uh, I looked through the the uh, pre-existing, and it's only for vacant lots. Okay. And since both of them have houses, they can't be considered vacant lots. Um, so I, the only thing I could find uh, was a variance. So there's no. I mean, I can't think of anything. There's, there's nothing you can think of where, where we can keep them from having to go for. I I, I tried. <laughs> I really did. And I, and I was, so is this the the smaller lot? Is that the owner one? Uh, the, the cash market? Cash market. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And when was? And this is. These were sub. Or these are existing lots from prior to zoning. Yes. Yeah, it's too bad. It, was, it yeah. sounds like our hands are tied. I mean, yeah. they're making go through an extra step, which is crazy. But that yeah, it, I I can understand where you're coming from. Right? Maybe that would be something to, to think about in the future if you have circumstances. So the planning board could very much look at something like that. So why don't you write that down uh, so that we look into it. So how, uh, just, if, 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 so how, how would we look into that? Well, what you would have to do is uh, probably under, um, it's non-conforming lots in section 8, um, 830. And so what I would do is in section 830 add a, a, um, a section that there is annexation to a non-conforming vacant lot. Um, but 
the annexation is a non people vacant lot. Yeah, right. And these aren't vacant. Mm -hmm. So I would add to so an annexation to a non conforming lot. developed lot. Or, or lot. lot. So the lot I mean, is it, uh, it just seems like an oversight. May I interject? Maybe a hardship um, cause would be something. Because this, this, as you can look at this, this is certainly a hardship for that lot. It being so small, there's really no room for any, and it being a building over the line really is very, you know, we're, we're trying to adjust it in a way that's going to be beneficial for both lots. It really doesn't. If, if I could just give it to you, I would. Um, but I'm, I'm saying for maybe in the future, a hardship might work for the. Yeah, oh, yes. hardship um, that would work, you know, especially for a variance, because that's one yeah, of the that, variance that's, criteria. That's a yeah. variance criteria. But for, for us, I don't see any reason why why there should be a distinction between a vacant lot and a lot. I mean, does, does that make any sense to you? Um, it, well, that was the intent of this section, was just to deal with vacant lots. Uh, but I, I do agree that um, if you're trying to uh, improve the situation, uh, that that's you know, reasonable. We could certainly. All right. Well, anyway, we should we should have. So could you please keep that on our agenda because otherwise it'll disappear. I'm kind of curious. Um, since it sounds like there's going to be an easement agreement uh, for the leach field and the well, is there any reason that? I mean. It seems like there should just be an easement um, granting the use uh, by lot 12.1 uh, of the land on 12.2 for the purposes of each field and parking. And stuff. Again, the other reason is the building is over the line curve. And for the building as well. That, I mean, that could be something. I think that it's really just trying to square it up so it looks more uh, presentable in the future. Um, it kind of takes the easement aspect of it completely out of any kind of future purchases or anything else. But but the easement still exists for the leach field. Yes, well. so it would, it would have to. These lots are they're bound. Together. They're bound together for better or for worse. Yeah. Um, if if one owner doesn't like the other, there's going to be um, it's too bad. Issues. <laughs> well, hopefully, no one's flushing anything they're not supposed to. One, one, one can only hope. Yeah. Um, all right. So what do we uh, what do we do here? We we you, we, can't, we don't, can't legally. I, 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 I think that what I would ask for in this circumstance would be a conditional approval pending a variance from the zoning board mm -hmm. for this hardship. And that way we don't have to come back before you guys. We just have to prove it. Do that with a variance. The conditional use of, on a variance. No, not conditional use. You're, I mean, uh, you're, conditional you're setting a condition that um, um, you're not going to sign off on the, the and, unless they unless get they get a variance. So, yeah. um, but it's just uh, all right. It's a little, a little odd. Um, all right. Well, if we can we can legally do that. Yeah, I don't see a reason why you can't. Okay. Um, so let me give you your favorite. Yep. Yeah, we certainly don't want to have you have to come back. Okay, so this one. So are, are we going to this in the well, that's the that action of, of another board? I mean, I, I, that's why I was asking if it's legal. Um, what you're, you're basically saying is that you are approving this uh, on the, uh, if, if they are able to receive the, a variance from the zoning board of adjustment. Um, if the zoning board says no, then well, I think we should state yeah, it like that. Yeah, that, I don't. That the, I don't the, think the, that would prejudice. The zoning no, board. I don't. I don't think they, they. Frankly, they care what we think. Um, <laughs> but yeah. but um, we we should state very clearly to that end that. Um, it's a, a conditional uh, approval. Um, how would you say that? If, if if they if they can get a a, um, a variance, and if not, the con then the approval is uh, is not granted. 
Yeah. And you know that follows through that you know, and you're not signing off on any of the, the plaques. And if um, they don't have a notice of decision from the zoning board saying yes, you can do this, then you don't and, sign off on the plaques. And we'll, there is no. We'll say there in in the wording that there, uh, the approval is not granted if there's no variance. Yeah. Is that okay with everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Right. It, it, it avoids having to come back right. again. Right. Yeah. And the only other option would be if we're looking at it, May 19th is the uh, the zoning board. And the only other option you'd have um, to save on having to re-notice everything is to continue it to May 26th. Yeah, but, then, after, but then, then they have to come back. Then we have an additional mm -hmm. week and get it to live. I mean, if it's legal, if you feel it's legal. I don't see any issues. Okay. Then I mean, if it helps, we've done stuff with this for multiple townships and yeah. never had any. Yeah, but we can't. Can I'm, not, I'm, I'm just saying, yeah. we need to know. It's, yeah. it's been right. deduced through multiple, you know. We, we have cases. to go by whatever is considered legal. Yeah. No, I, didn't, I don't see any issues whatsoever with doing it. Okay, me. so then, then let's run through this thing. And this is shorter than the other one. Um, a name and address of each abutter. Yeah. Yes. And actually, I want to say, uh, John Greasinger spells his name with one S. It's, oh. it's wrong in the tax records, which is why you got it. <laughs> yep. So, oh, uh, we had to do some work for John recently, so I knew that his name yes. was spelled that way. <laughs> so, David, can you back that into the tax records somehow? Uh, I cannot. Okay. I cannot change. Oh, first, of all, I can't change anything. Okay. <laughs> and I, have, I have lobbied long and hard to not be able to change anything. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't want to upset that apple cart. Uh, but, but I can. Uh, the the reads. I'll, I'll check the, all the the names and addresses that we have come from deeds. Okay. And if it's misspelled on the deed. Okay. Then I can't have them change it. All right. So ask Joe and, and then we've taken enough time. In, in any you. case, we can ask that it be spelled correctly on the on the plan. Yes. So that, that's one correction. All right. Name and uh, so I'll, I'll put that here too. Oddly enough, I believe on both separate parcels it's spelled differently on each deed. Yeah. Well, that's so also a requirement that it be have to be spelled differently every time you spell it. Uh, no matter what piece of paper it's on. Um, all right, so that's got to be correct. Okay, uh, name and business address of every consultant. Yep. Okay, uh, attend blues and blacks. Um, size per requirements. Yep. Uh, no smaller than 100. Uh, a New Hampshire licensed land surveyor. Uh, complete boundaries, etc. Yep. Existing and proposed lot lines. Yep. Location of existing and proposed easements. Yep. Existing proposed utilities, wells, blah blah blah. Yep. We're good with that. And anybody has questions, speak up as we go on. Location of zoning district boundaries. Uh, there's a note specifying that both parcels are in the online comment description. Mm -hmm. Who is the, one of the first notes? Uh, number one. Yeah. Uh, one. Yep. Yep. Okay. okay. Um, name and address of each abutter. Yep. Mm -hmm. Final plat to come. Um, most recent deed. Yep, I have those. Um, proposed easements, covenants, blah, blah, blah. I have the, I actually have the, not they're not only proposed, they are executed, and I have copies of the recorded documents. What are those? Uh, for the leach field and for the well. Okay. And does that include the, um, this declaration of easement? Or is that something coming? That, I have a, um, I have the actual easement it's already been recorded. recorded. But is that what you were referring to? Yes, that's what I was referring to. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So it's been okay. recorded and I have copies of it. Okay, and a deed restriction shall be placed in the body of the deed that you're aware of. Yes, that. and that's just text. It's also the text that you would like to Okay. On. And um, here's the problem. You know, dimensional conformance uh, is no. 
So um, approval. This is this is uh, first draft. Approval is based on conditionally granted only if a variance. Um, do you want to say a variance for lot size? Uh, or lot size variance for a variance for lot size. If you think that's what's the best thing, yeah. lot size. And, and I would specify it's uh, 12 point two. Yeah, 12.2. Uh, on lot four lot. Four lot 12.2 is granted by the ZBA. Otherwise, Approval is denied. Yeah, I can. Um, yeah, there's going to be a variance. So there should be. It's a, a like a three-part application. And you know, the last one is for. So let, let me read that to the to the board and just make sure everything's okay. Approval is conditionally granted. Only if the variance for lot size um, for lot 12.2 is granted by the ZBA. Otherwise, approval is denied. Is that good with everybody? Mm -hmm. All right. In that case, um, I'd like to um, const uh, move that the application is complete. Mm -hmm. uh, is there a second? All right. A different second. Rich Brown seconds. Um, all those in favor say aye. All those opposed. Okay, so are there any? Oh, and, and that, that is passed with um, the noted condition and the correction for John, in honor of John Griezmann. Um, so, uh, I have a couple yeah, please. Of questions or comments. Yeah. Um, I'm curious along this property line here. There are these uh, black dots, and I'm that indicates the fence that's been placed. Um, it's it's in the legend. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because we placed the boundary line exactly on the fence. Okay. That's why it's, it shows us it has that. Okay. Um, the second thing is um, with the pre-existing well. I'm wondering if you could. It might be appropriate to also indicate. Um, uh, the, the leach field says C note, and maybe we it should say C note three, and then on the well pre-existing or existing pre-1989 well C note three on that, just so in the future people know that that's the well that is shared between the two. Okay, we can make that. Um, we still we can still make a condition. Because that will be a condition yeah, of your approval. Yeah. That's a fairly easy change for us. So okay, so you got that, David? Yeah. And then this easement, when does that get executed? It's done. Yeah, the, the easement would be executed in the event that it's a separate ownership. So right. the easement's been specified, it's been dictated. And when, if the ownership were to change, that easement would then take effect. I believe actually, I did, it looked like the copy I had was already recorded. Uh, I believe it's been recorded, but if you see the language and the verbiage, it specifies if ownership were to change from the current owner who owns both properties, that in that circumstance, the easement would take hold and okay. they would be responsible. But in the event that it, it's a done deal, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's recorded it's, so that it will yeah. be in effect. As right. soon as so the ownership changes. Right. As soon as the ownership changes. And whether we change the lot line or not, right. if you sell this property. Correct. Yes. Right. Yeah. The, the, yeah, the, uh, yeah. the fact that it's already been recorded, so okay. it's, our, it's, it's a done deal. Oh, great. Right. And it just says lot 12.1 and 12.2, and wherever we choose to wiggle the lines right. around, yes. it doesn't matter. Okay. okay. Yeah, I've seen these easy. things before, yeah. and they can become tenuous when yeah. the ownership changes. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so um, the only thing we're adding there is the the uh, well. Just make sure that the the, the well and the septic refer to node three. And it, would it be incorrect to say in node one the acreage located within the line common district? Is well, that, it would be. That, I, I think the way it's written is. Yeah, maybe that maybe I think it'd be redundant. Okay. Because the both it says both parcels are located, I think entirely. I don't know if it says entirely or not. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Well it's up to the board. So I mean if you feel strong. I, mean, I don't know. Is it I mean what do we is David it is it the, the, I, I'm fine the way it is. Okay. But, that's, you know, but again it's the, I'm not making the decision, so well, what does it refer to in the in the rules? It just says that you the boundaries have to be shown and typically Oh Oh, no, well, I was just referring to the name of it instead yeah. of the common district. Uh, do we call it, is it? It's, well, officially it's the Lyme, uh, Lyme common district. Then that note should be changed. Yeah. It, does it just say common district? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, then I can easily add that. Okay, okay. so, so you have it. Yes. I'm sorry, I, now okay. I, I misunderstood. I, okay. Yeah, thank, thank you. you for pointing that out. Okay. Not this big. Somebody in the future will talk. Right. It's the common district. Who, who knows what the common district is? Yeah, they share something in common. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's what you just saw for all day. Okay. So anything else? No. All right. Great. Um, so, let's see. I'd like to make a motion uh, to conditionally, and uh, David, you help me with this, conditionally approve the slot line adjustment uh, as noted in the ch on the checklist. Is that good enough? Um, Wait, you just say approve? You don't say conditionally. Well, well, well you're, you're conditionally approving it. Conditionally. Well, perhaps to approve it subject to all the conditions? Yes. That would make it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Subject to all the conditions and corrections. What I'm going to say is following conditions, and I will, in the minutes, note those following yeah, that's conditions. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Especially the uh, variance. The ZBA. What is the deadline? Uh, 15 days. What will so, we for? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll get it. No. no I'm, I'm, I'm no. going to put you on. No. And so that's. No. no. What's your yeah, distinction? Yeah, 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 we'll. We'll make sure okay, so um, I, I made a motion, David. You have you have all this stuff. Is there a second? Yeah, we got another Rich Brown second. Um, uh, all those in favor? Uh, all those opposed? Uh, okay. okay, so I got all the notes on here, and you got notes on there. Thank you very much. Yep. I appreciate your time. Well, we, we will appreciate get yours to the zoning board. And I apologize. I, 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 I truly will not try to find some other. We wish we could have done it. No, it, it happens sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. No, no one's fault. So that's all right. <laughs> no, it's all, it's always it, so. our fault. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you want these back? Nope. They're for your for your uh, for my scrapbook. Yep. Mm -hmm. They make great wrapping paper. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Like every relative I have knows. <laughs> uh, right, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Uh, have a nice you night. You too. Phoebe, you want to come to the Do you think there are the lots like that in town? Um, there might be some up in the uh, uh, Lime Center District. Ah. All right. So let's, um, it's already 8 so let's get moving on this. I'd like to uh, thank Phoebe again for... Yes. Uh, doing the work uh, on this really graphic design by Biostats. <laughs> um, yeah. it, 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 it was great because you're just like totally on top of it. So um, I have some editorial stuff, as I'm sure everybody does. Yeah. yeah. But um, just a great job. Thank you. It is a terrific job. Yeah. Email from Vicky. Say many thanks to you. Great. So, yeah. so it's, it's a couple of changes. It's, it's unanimous. Okay, so let's let's go through it. Um, the first thing I'd, I'd say is we want to spell SESs consistently throughout, um, so we can just how does how does everybody want? John, I, I have some changes oh, okay. too. So uh, and, and mine may be redundant um, to some of yours. I don't know. All right. So how does it, how does everybody want to spell SES? 
Well, what are the options? What are the um, well, we're, we're spelling out, it had been decided before that in the bold areas where, where you put, you know, small solar energy systems of bold, we want that fully spelled out. Right. Um, but we'll, we're not going to spell it out each time. So the options are SES, SES apostrophe, uh, SES apostrophe S. You know. I think it could just be SES. I think it could. It's not, yeah. you know, it's not official. That's interesting it's because, of course, they are solar energy systems. 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 It's like bin numbers. You don't need to do it twice. Yes. Yeah, I mean, right. just for convenience. Okay. Gotcha. So, Maybe what we want to do is in the first sentence call it comprehensive uh, solar energy systems. Is there any amendment? Um, I mean, it's not quite, but then it, it reads better everywhere else. Yep. Uh, what is everybody? Sure. Bring it up. Uh, uh, I need, I need right. voices. Is that okay? Yeah, I think you put so, it on it. Yeah. So up the first sentence, we're we're changing that to systems. Yes. Yeah. 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 And an apostrophe it, or no? No, no apostrophe. Okay. It's just that it's more than one system. Yeah. So we're we're agreeing that anywhere we are using the term SES, um, we'll we'll just do SES. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and and as I jump along. Um, if I've skipped something that somebody had, please tell me. Yeah, I have. Oh, okay. I was wondering whether in the second paragraph where it says roof mounted SES will be. Wait, 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 wait. Well, I still have something in the first paragraph. Oh, that's good. Okay. <laughs> so we, we need we need to pick a date. Um, so assuming we can, you know, hopefully polish this off tonight, or if not mm -hmm. next time. Um, what if the, let's just go through that. So the next time is, oh God, are we already at, no, the next time is the beginning of May, so we have the first meeting of May. So what if uh, June 30th, or you know, the, yeah, June 30th was, was the return date. So there might be six weeks there. That's really long. Yeah. It's long? Okay. If you give people that much. June 15th, and then June 15th, June 1st. Oh, well, when are we sending this out? Well, that's, we don't know. So, can we, maybe we should postpone that until we get done with the rest of the okay. My guess is we can get through this, because it's really good. All right, let's yeah. go. Yeah. All right, so you had something in the second. Well, it's, it's sort of a question for David, I guess. But it says, roof mounted SES would be allowed everywhere in town, and would only need a, should that be building permit? So no, it should not. not a zoning permit. Why we went over that last time. Yeah. Because we do not issue some building permits because we do not have a building oh, inspector. Right, they right. are, okay, okay. if you have a, a building permit, you issue a building permit, it, it has its own definition. And, um, but didn't, didn't originally we used to call them building permits? Well, it doesn't and matter. We, kind of we don't, that, we don't want to stop doing that. Okay, so, that. So let's uh, note that in the, in the set, beginning of the second sentence it says roof mounted SES. So we'll just take out that little S. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can I go back to the sure, first Sure, you, you can jump around. Uh, I want to say uh, we want to present a comprehensive solar energy systems zoning amendment on the ballot for line voters because when we say we want to present it in March 2023, nobody really knows, but if it's on the ballot, saying it's on the ballot means you're going to have to vote on this. That just helps. I think it helps. Make it more um, I, th I think the fact that it says zoning amendment, and it says to line voters at the um, March that indicates that it is going to be. Okay. The reason, the, I mean, it'd be fine with me. The reason I, I would just like to keep it at the, the words to a minimum. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, Good. Done. Okay. And it does, you know, the zoning amendment. It, it doesn't say line voters. It kind of refers back. Oh, we're going to have to vote on this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so that's okay with you. Um, I'm okay with that. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, on the third uh, paragraph, um, we're mounted. We have SES uh, the way we want it, right? Yes. Okay. So the last sentence yeah. there, I suggest changing the word divide into consider. To divide into what? Consider. The board proposes to consider ground mounted SES as two categories. Okay. I mean, that's okay with me. 
So we're yeah, saying to so propose us to consider ground mounted SES in no, that as two categories. Well, but yeah, that sort of means we haven't decided yet, right? Is that, is that what we're trying to I understand say? what you said by consider, but is there a better word to yes, okay. propose to refer to? What's wrong with the mic? I don't know. Okay. All right. Shut up. No. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I withdraw it. Rich, I, these are good. Don't worry no. about. Yeah. No, I'm just looking for action. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. You know. Good. 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 Bring, bringing up the wording is good, yep. even yep. if it's not adapted. Yep. Okay. Um, then we're into the next paragraph. Unless well, I had something at the end of that okay. sentence. Mm -hmm. um, I, I really like what Eric and Hebe have done here, um, but I, I feel like we need to somehow get well, it, yeah. reference it back to a picture. I agree 100%. And, and, That's and, I and so does Hebe. So, so I just have... I'm totally in favor of that. Uh, if you see my, my oh, six words there. We should, we should read what you say? Oh, wow. Well. Um, yeah, because otherwise, that, I mean, what Phoebe and I were, were discussing with the, yeah. I'm sorry, <laughs> ah, my mm -hmm. mask. Phoebe and I were discussing was, was that it's it gives the impression that the oh, whole, whole thing is generated by kilowatts, yeah. right. which it isn't. Right. It's right. the opposite. So um, yeah, that's cool. I like it. I like it. Yeah. I agree. Okay, so let's add that. Uh, where is that? That's in the... Eric, did you want uh, somebody just to read that too? Because I know you don't have. Um, do, you, do you have a, you have a copy? Yeah, here? I have a copy oh, here. Okay. I just want to. Uh, small and large. Yeah. So would that be semicolon? No. Just. just yeah, you can correct my. Just. No. Punctuation. No, no punctuation. No, nothing. Okay. No, nothing at all. Then. Yeah. Based okay. on. The installation footprint. That's excellent. Yeah. yeah. That's just what we were looking for. Okay, okay, so on to the next one. In terms of size and visual impact, a single 10 k oh, well, that's all, everything looks good here to me. I have a comment on the photo part in the last sentence. Uh, does anybody else have anything in the body of this? No. no. I, I can't hear. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, let me see if this, for some reason, we're not getting good at I'm just curious why, why you moved that paragraph, because it refers specifically to small systems. Um, that happened last week because they wanted, uh, they wanted more definition of, I think it was, um, huh. It's interesting, now that you say that, Eric, I, I sort of... I mean, that that, that paragraph, you know, when I say, when I, when I was sketching this out, we define, okay, we're talking about, we're, we're going to divide it into two categories, small and large, mm -hmm. now we talk about small, blah, 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 Right. and then you describe I, um, what small looks like, and that paragraph is intended to describe what a right. small system looks like. Well, we can change it back, but yeah. la last time it was unanimously moved up because... Um, I think they wanted to introduce that ahead of time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, I, I prefer it in this section. Yeah, I do too. So, whatever, that's fine. All right, so I, I too w think it wonder about that. Uh, it's the fourth paragraph in terms of the size of visual impact. That almost wants wait, to wait, go. Wait, say that again. I, uh, I, 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 I'm thinking about moving the fourth paragraph that begins in terms of size and visual impact. Move that down just until it's just above the photograph. So that it says we're considering, we're, we're dividing it into large and small based on the installation footprint. Then there's the bold heading, small solar energy systems. The board defines for context, 10 kilowatt array provides enough electricity and then the paragraph that says size and visual impact. I think I'm agreeing with you, Eric. That, that so, Eric, were you talking about the fourth paragraph or the third? Fourth. Oh, the fourth. Talking about the fourth oh, paragraph. Oh, 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 I'm, I wasn't fine. I thought you said I'm third. Third. I thought you said third. Third. Really, yes, it, it describes the yep. small system, so it belongs yep. in that section. Yep. I'm fine with that. Um, yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah. 
Um, and and that, so that would move where? I move it all the way Wait, down. I, Go ahead. Eric, where would you move it? Well, I mean, I, initially I had it right above the picture, which is what right. Rich was talking about. Okay, so that would be the third paragraph. Under, yeah, after small solar and Right. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like it. Um, so, do we need, where it says photo one shows 10K array, photo two shows, isn't that already? It still works. Well, it, but we already have right there, it says photo one, two panels that provide a total of about 10K of power. That's fine. Isn't that redundant? Maybe. I, I think that generally the convention is you do it twice. I had no idea. You refer to it in the text and then there's a caption on the picture. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we'll, we'll keep that? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So then for the first paragraph, um, I would say the board estimates, because we're not defining it, um, we're estimating a yeah. small SES to be up to about 40k kW. Is that okay? Yeah. So estimates okay. instead of defines. Mm -hmm. uh, the SES loses the little s, yeah. and after to be uh, is, is up to instead of less than. Um, and then moving on after net metered projects, I would put a period and then a capital, take out the end and put a capital T. Yes. Are you, uh, have you lost me? Uh, okay. Uh, what, are you on the, the paragraph? About the first paragraph of small solar energy the, the, system. The board estimates uh, small The board SES. estimates small SES to be up to about 40 kW in capacity. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. And then when you get to the end of the second sentence, and it says, and small group net metered projects. Period. Period, because we started to get a lot of ends. Yeah. Um, a period and then capital T for the board. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then uh, in the next sentence, uh, small SES is loses the S. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and then we're bringing that other one down to the third mm -hmm. thing. Chris, and may we have, uh, uh, Rich Manley had a suggestion for his edit. Yeah, uh, um, well, the first one was after small solar. Yeah. Energy systems. I'd suggest a parentheses SES just to, yep. again to let people know what an SES is. Yep. Okay. Um, and I did actually have the first sentence say, "I like the estimates uh, that you just suggested," but you can see after. So it, the first sentence would now say the board estimates small SES, at, and then I'm adding as panel area of up to 2,000 square feet, or about 40 kW in capacity. Now, mm -hmm. again, I I don't want to get. I mean, I think 2,000 is what we ended up with, right? For the up to 2,000 square feet. Um, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I think it was 2,000. I mean, we've been all over the place. Yeah, we've been all over. I don't know. Um, but w whatever that number is, or maybe we. I don't. I don't think we out. ever settled finally on the panel size. That we we were discussing, but whatever I it went is. Through my I thought we did settle on it, but I went through my notes and I was not able to find a definitive. Um, I don't think that you would come up with a, an actual... Because we were basing it on kilowatts. No. What we're the, I mean, what Eric did, which was, I think, masterful, was he presented it in a way that people would be able to understand uh, right. by, by doing it through kilowatt and then saying what those kilowatts meant. Yeah. But... As far as size. As far as size, yeah. And, and, and as, as far as capacity. So I mean, I can, I guess I can go either way, but I, I think we have to be careful that we don't get people focused on kilowatts too much because it's going to change. Um, right. 
Uh, I'm just I, and as panels get more efficient, and what we're really regulating right. is the square footage, and we don't want to get too bogged down in square footage, but we're just trying to, um, you know, give some scale to this. If you right. Uh, I just, you know, reading it is a little bit. I just found it a little hard. The board, the way you you're suggesting it would go, the board estimates small SES as up to, yeah. I mean, we're up to 2,000 square feet and of and the estimates, panel area. But estimates what is related to the 40 kW, yes, here okay. it, you could define it, you could yep. use defines. I think defines is better yep. in this case. The board defines small SES. Yep as panel area up to 2,000 square feet, which is about 40 kilowatt in capacity. Yeah. All right, so let me write that down. The, the board defines small SES uh, to be what? Or what what's that? As a, panel area okay. of up to 2,000 square feet. As panel area up to 2,000 square feet or about 40 kW in capacity. And, and he, he actually said which is, and I think I was I think that that's... Which is is where? Which is about 40 kW. Which is about 40 kW. Yeah. Because when you put in or, you're saying, you're leading to oh, say that okay. it's panel size or. Okay. Yeah. Or capacity, right, right, right. which is about 40k in capacity. Yeah. Okay. Period. Uh, yeah. Period. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's gotten to be a long enough sentence that right. we want to split it. This, um, and then my verbiage would be small SES would be allowable in every zoning district. Okay. Small SES would be allowable in, in every zoning district. Okay. And then I'll keep rolling. Here. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so then the next sentence is, is fine, but it's getting long in my opinion. So it yeah. says this category is intended to cover residential systems and small group net metered projects, period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the board right. leaves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, that was your comment. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That's good. Uh, great minds think alike. And then small SES, and uh, knock out that. That little S. Don't worry about that. I've got um, find and replace. Okay. Um, and then in the next paragraph, you have some stuff, uh, Rich I, I did, yeah. Uh, so after the second sentence where it starts to say the 40 kilowatt limit, I've ch edited that to suggest the space permitted for a small SES mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. should easily cover typical residential apps and okay. some small. Rich, do you like, would you like a word like the layout for a small SES? Because space is kind of yeah, three-dimensional, sure. whereas you're really talking about a footprint. So, yeah, the layout, yeah, I like that. Does that work for people? Yeah. yeah. All right, so the layout permitted for the small SES category, are, are we keeping category or are we taking that out? I'm taking that out. Okay. Yeah. Just for a small SES. Yeah, should easily cover typical. Okay, so that's all good. Yeah. All right, and then we have the um, first photo, and then... Yeah, I think that's good, Rich. 
Yeah, because it's not really two panels, it's two arrays there. And, mm -hmm. and it, okay. it, we could just say two arrays or... or I think it's, it's They clear. are fixed mount arrays, I, but... Is that the right term, the fixed mount arrays? I think it is. Or, or ground mount arrays. Or, or yeah, <laughs> two ground mount arrays, yeah. Yeah, let's and, use that. And I'd like to write out the word, two. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Two ground mount mount or mounted? Uh, we say ground mounted above. Yeah, we've used that. Yeah, so let's stick with that. Two ground two uh, yeah. Photo one, two ground mounted arrays. Arrays. Um that provide a total of ten K, is that yeah. Thank you. Okay, and then um, I think the square the square feet rows are four hundred four thousand and forty thousand. Yeah, I had a question there. Though. It, I think it might be confusing because we're saying ten kilowatts is four hundred square feet, forty is four thousand, and we're going the kilowatts are increasing by four, but the square feet is increasing by these 10. numbers are complete like. Placeholders. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you want? I got completely bogged oh, okay. down and trying to understand what were panels and what was arrays and what was square <laughs> and what was area. Okay. So I just this is like okay, a table like this will fit here. Right. Yes. Right. 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 That was the key. Yeah. That was the key. I was hoping somebody else could fill in those. Yeah. Things. Well, that's <laughs> we're all hoping that. But that's what we. So so the one question we had actually was so for the middle, uh, you know, it says kilowatts square feet. Do we want a race size or panel size? What do we want there? So, actually, I was hoping that we could have three columns here. As one, opposed to four? One, yeah. Kilowatts, panel size, and are, are you in panel area? Yeah. And then lot coverage. Yeah. And that's good. Okay. Because yeah, yeah. I like say, so say it again. So, uh, panel... No, no. Let them, let them do it. I think panel area first. Right, panel area. So watts. Just a, just a minute, because I gotta make sure I get this. Yes. Right. Panel area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. that should be that should be first. Yes. Yeah, because that's our, that's really how we size it. That's the okay. definition. Yeah. Right. Okay. Next. And then kilowatts, which will be interesting for people to see. That's like oh. Oh, yeah, of yeah. course. 4,000 kilowatts? That's, that's, that's great. That's and then, and then, and then that's lot coverage. Coverage. Okay, and what's the third one? Lot coverage. Lot coverage. Do we want lot coverage or footprint? Lot um, So you're, say that again. You're, the first number is. First number is panel area. Right, so you got yeah. this many panels of this big times 10 or whatever. Because if you're doing panel area, yes, then you're going to be, you know, you're talking about a looking back at Eric's picture. You're talking about a single array. So you have a panel Ooh. and arrays Ooh. of panels. You're you're somewhat familiar with arrays, right? I am. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so yeah, you're right. And uh, so you're total you're looking at panel area. Let's see. That's where you know your your lot coverage. Is going to be mm -hmm. okay. Using Eric's picture, your lot coverage is going to be the total footprint of both those panels. Yes. Or both those arrays, I should say. Yes. So um, you need to, you know, whichever one you're using doesn't matter to me. But mm -hmm. your lot coverage is the aggregate of all your arrays. And your footprint is the individual arrays that are all that are have a, a bunch of panels that make up that array. And then, you know, if you have space separating, we don't count that space, but we count the next so array. I think, I'm thinking about this in three. There's three categories. There's the how much power you're going to get, how much actual solar panel you're looking at, and then what the footprint is. Yeah, that. I think that that is what more people will understand. Trying to throw in um, the lot coverage aspect, um, yeah. All right. and okay. there are going to be limitations. You, you know, you your panel, you you, you may have um, panels that are under your footprint size, 
mm -hmm. that's allowed for the lot, but you're not allowed to have more than a certain number because you've hit your lot coverage. Yeah. Right. So it, it, it's... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but, so I, I guess I'm confused uh, only from the standpoint of I think we're trying to, one of the columns wants to show, I'm going to call it the involved area, the right. area that includes right. the space in between the arrays, if, if you have multiple arrays. Right. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to call that? Lot coverage. No, I, no, I but that's not lot coverage. Yeah, that's not lot coverage? No. It's no. Because, not. because the, the lot coverage is, is different than the area involved, because there can be space in between. If you're looking at this. Yeah. This whole area is the area involved. The lot coverage is what is underneath both these panels. But not the space in between. But not the space in between. Right. That's what they allowed. So can we call it involved area? I, I would, it's you, your choice because it's a term that you're yeah, we're you're making it coming up. up. You're making it up as you go. Yeah. So I, I would I would use involved area yeah, because like there, we don't have a legal term yeah. for yeah. such a thing. Because we're trying to give people, uh, we're trying to make a distinction visually for people between the, the actual lot coverage, which would be less than the in, in involved area. I, so I mean, up above you're calling it panel area up to 2,000 square feet. What is that? That is going to be the uh, the area of panels. That's so the panel area. Yeah, so that, that would eventually be... All right. um, These panel areas are the same. And the layout is the involved area. Yeah. And the layout referred to in the next paragraph is the involved area. Yeah. Yeah. See, I think people are going to get confused. Over I do too. Well, I, I'm, 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 I'm getting confused. Well, see, that's yeah. why I, I would back out and not say anything about lot coverage or footprint. It just say involved area. Right. Um, and then you know, when you go to write the, the actual ordinance, you would look at, you know... Tighten up the language. Right, you know, say, okay, we said an involved area of X, that would give us um, so many panels with a reasonable space in between, right. and so we'll translate it to... But if you just say involved area, that, to me, is a, a little more easier to... Right, how about area involved? That works, but just yeah. describing the... the... Pro, the, the yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah, I think in this we're just trying to let right. people All right. understand. So, like, so, so uh, based on this discussion, I'm, I'm listening to this conversation and trying to think what voters are what voters are going to think when they're trying to figure out what's in the table. Um, yeah, I, think, I think I think this might be a case where less is more. Um, I agree. Yeah, you know, that's, I, don't, I don't want to pat myself on the back with my writing, but. You know, in, in the pair in the paragraph above where we're talking about okay, a forty kilowatt array, et cetera, et cetera, um, might be as much as a basketball court, right? Might you know the visual impact might be as much as a basketball court. That or or for a large array, it might be as big as um, half the common. I, I think that's all we need right I now. I think you're right. Yeah. You think, oh, it's going to be that big. They don't need to know well what's size and Yeah, and, and, and I think we're, we're just going to get ourselves all tied up in knots right. with the chart. Eric, are you comfortable with the numbers, the, um, the, the square feet and kilowatts and all in, the, in that paragraph? Um, I, I think those went from uh, when we first did this uh, four weeks or six weeks, I don't know, ago. Um, I think those are ones we wanted to double check with, with Mark um, Bollinger. Yep. Okay. Um, I mean, that's what, we, that's what we talked about. And, and even the 4,000 square foot one for a 40 kilowatt. I don't think that's right. guessing about how big the rows are going to be in between it. I mean, it's, it's a guess. It could be, they could all be in one straight line. They could be sprinkled around. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we don't know. So it's, yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what I was trying to do with it's the, the last, the number. Yeah. So strike like the that. table. To give people something that, that they knew how big it was, right. they can say, oh, it's going to look like right. that. Right. Yeah. So because other, these are elastic um, configurations, and 
we don't need to get technical right now. All right, so are we okay striking the table? Yeah. Yeah, that's sure. easy. Yeah, it's just going to confuse it. Okay. So, I mean, I think that Eric is, a, is an awesome model here. It's kind of like Vanna White or something there. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's showing, <laughs> and here we are to my I'm, right uh, is the, I'm the NKW. I'm so, you know. <laughs> what? I'm 18 feet tall, so that's the tall I'm Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, yeah. Boy, that is, that is big. And 600 pounds. All right, so um, we need to get confirmation on those numbers then. Is that what I'm hearing? Oh, up above? Uh, is that, did that, I hear that? Correctly? In that paragraph, Which we need to, uh, before we go running our mouth to the rest of the town, right. we probably be we need, comfortable we need, with confirmation. We need solid numbers. Yeah. Who, uh, Mark Bollinger? Uh, who can get, can, is there anybody on this board who can get us solid numbers? Well, I mean, what was the, uh, what was the playing field one? I can't remember. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know. So, the big ones, megawatt is, a, is four acres, but we're not talking about that, so. Um, four acres of actual panels. I mean, well, the, the involved area is Yeah, yeah. I think the biggest we were talking about in Five. this was was no, I mean in, in this was an acre. An acre yeah. In this uh, write up is an acre. Well, Plainfield was 145 kilowatts, and it was 140 by 200. Area involved. The area involved. That's 28,000. Feet. So you said 140 kilowatts? It was 145 kilowatt system. And it was, what was the area again? Uh, it, it was 140 by 200. So 28,000? 28, 28, yeah. Which is how many acres? 26 acres. 2 thirds of an acre. Oh, that's 2 thirds of an acre? Yeah. yeah, 43560 is an exit. Oh, okay. I use that an awful lot. Yeah. You should. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so, but what does this do for us? Well, that helps us uh, know what 40. Okay, so what do you, so work it, let's work it backwards. 40 is, uh, that's why. Calculators in your lap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After maybe after we um, we work this, we we should just send it to Mark Bollinger yeah. for confirmation. Yeah, it would be worth sending it to a commercial person like somebody at Revision just to see when we get two days. They're pretty busy. Yeah, why should you go? Can, you can find it online. Yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, it's, uh, I think, if my calculation's right, it's like 0.18 acres. If you, if you just scaled it down from playing field, I don't know if that's... Yeah, I mean, really we just don't accurate. know the particulars. How much did you get, Rich? 0.18. Yes, I got 0.177. All right. So yeah, it's around about, it. yeah. it's about a sixth of an acre. So a sixth of an acre. Um, four, three, five, six, three. It's 7,700 square feet. Okay. And how many kilowatts? 40. 40. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, wow, that's bigger than... Uh, I, I think we need, we need somebody to, to vet these numbers. Mm -hmm. See, I think it's non-linear because the involved area has right. got bits and pieces. Yeah, we, we don't know how much right. space they're putting between that somebody else might not. Yeah. yeah. And it really depends on you know, how tall you go with your panels and mm -hmm. right. stuff like that. And how it's good for yeah. yeah. All right.
All right, let's let's work through okay, let's, the second page. Yeah, the second page. Yeah. So um, let me just flip the rich, rich menus thing over. So uh, again, in the first, uh, in the box, the first, uh, number one, let's knock off that small s. And then um, here's, uh, in the first sentence under large solar energy systems, uh, again, knock off the s. Yeah. And then I would say, or suggest, or consider, large SES are arrays of, of about 40 kilowatts, isn't it? But smaller Do you want to use uh, arrays or systems? Um, are, are systems? Just the fact that you're... Um, you know, that, that'd be fine with me. What about large SES generate more than 40, but less than 400 kilowatts? More than 40 kilowatts? Well, it, we're really... The, we're, I was... Yeah, I get that. Okay, that's fine. So you're now back to capacity rather than size. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I was not consistent in my approach on right. large, but I think maybe we should be. We should be. What a concept. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what did you have in the first one? Well, I said a panel area. So, I mean, what we're, I think we're talking about a panel area between 2,000 and 17,000. Okay, yeah, so I, just I have to, I'm going to actually, I have a, I know one of the salesmen in Soma Fleck down there. That know, would be great. Talk yeah. to him and try to get So the large, so what's the language here? Large SES are systems. Uh, systems. Um, large, so you have small SES. Uh, okay. There's a panel area of up to 2,000 square feet. Our, our so large SES are systems exceeding 2,000 square feet. Well, we want to we want to have it consistent, right? Yeah, that would be. So yeah. what we had small SES. I can't read my writing. At, uh, we only have about 40 kilowatts. No, no, no. As a panel area, up we to had 2, as panel square area. Feet. But what comes before his panel area? The board. The board defines, defines a small SES as panel area up to two thousand oh, square feet. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay. So large SES are defined. Um, as panel area. Oh, God. Greater than. Greater than? Yeah. yeah. Greater than 2,000 square feet or less than. Just, just a minute. 2,000 square feet and less than what? Yeah. Yeah, what is well, we're talking about 10 times. I'll be right back. I want to pull um, one of the spec sheets that I have. Okay. Or just CSR. Defined. But we had the, that that criteria. I, I thought we were using the criteria of lot coverage and the fact that um, the zoning amendment or the zoning rules allow a total of what isn't it seventeen thousand square feet? Wait, twenty six thousand actually. Twenty six thousand. Or twenty six thousand. Maximum. And we were subtracting out. Two or three thousand for a house, so we were maybe that was what it was. Well, I think we were. I don't know what we were doing, but it was, I don't know where the seventeen thousand comes from. I mean, yeah, you'd have to take up the area of the house and uh, you know just guess at an average overlay uh, subtraction. Mm -hmm. Okay, then there's another issue here. Yeah. Question. For the voters, we're saying is 40,000 kilowatts a reasonable size. We're going to have to change that, right? Um, I'm not sure about that. But how are people going to know how big? Yeah, no, I, I, I think we're, we're 
saying, aren't we still saying, are we now not addressing kilowatts? Well, we still want to keep kilowatts yeah. in there because that's really what... That's that's the driver of what people are going to yeah, want to know. Yeah, exactly. We get How just, much power are you generating? We, we want to clarify that the actual governing stuff is is the, the square footage, right. or I'm sorry, the, whatever you want to call it, but what that's not going to help people understand what they're right. going to get out of it. Right, right. But so, as long as they can tell how, many, how big Coy's kilowatts is, I guess mm -hmm. they can. Are we making yeah, I mean, we've told people, or the narrative tells people that ten, you know, 10 is for good enough for a house, and mm -hmm. We're doing two or three times that, um, or three or four times that. So okay. we're allowing four times that without a lot of extra work. Right. Yeah. 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 But then we say it's 40 kilowatts, reasonable size limit for this category in terms of visual impact. So they're going to have to know. Well, and that's big, what that's they're, the they're picture. Gonna that's what that they're going to say. Well, they're going to say we're going to need. That's four times that. That's five. So it'll be eight times. Yeah, 40. The eight times. Right? Oh, yeah, it, for the tracker. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Eight trackers. Eight, eight trackers. trackers. Yeah. All right. Well, as long as they can do all that. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's it's just not yeah. possible to make it. We should be so lucky that we're inundated by questions. Yeah. I think don't let the perfect be the enemy. Yeah. 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 We're just, we're just trying yeah. to get something out there, and it's yeah. not going to be. If uh, we if we're a little bit. Skewy, then they'll ask questions. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, two no's, sorry. Or, or not questions, they'll have some pointed comments. So, this is a spec sheet from a Solar System. If you go look on Mike Mundy's roof up here on at the end of High Street, okay. um, it has all the information. It gives you the size of the panel at the top and the electrical output. Millimeters and inches, okay. It's 40 feet by 67 feet? No, they're not feet. Um, This might be a millimeter. It, it is in millimeters. It is. The bottom, it's it's in the square brackets, it's in inches. Yeah, the, yeah, the square brackets are inches. So it's 67.75 inches wide okay. and 37.64 inches high. So, and then um, when you're looking at the electrical data, the, the uh, there are five different um, columns. Yeah, there are five different panels. Depending on the uh, the wattage, so some of them the these are going yeah from 360 to 381. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and some people are still quoting. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm getting a quote on 320 watt panels. Okay. So, so. But what what we're saying here, yeah. large SES are defined as panel area great uh, greater than 2,000 and less than we need a we need a number. And then, just like in the first one, um, we would say which is about, oh God. This is the well, it's 20,000 square feet of solar panels. So is that the number we want to use? 20,000? Yeah, because 2,000 yeah, gets us to 40 times. kilowatts. And then we go to 400. Yeah. yeah. So twenty thousand again is 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 uh, how many how many acres? Twenty thousand. Yeah. Less than half. Less than half. Less than, yeah. than half. There's three. But that's just the panel. That's just the panel size. That's just the panel size, yeah. and and you know we found that the involved area is like three to five times the. Can be. Can be. Can yeah. Be. So David, an acre is four thousand. So forty thousand. So, um, 43, 43, 
So are people good with the 20,000? That makes sense to me because it's 10 times the 2,000. Is that reasonable? Yeah. I mean, I thought, I don't know, I missed two meetings in, in March. So but, uh, we, yeah. we started, you know, with the 40 kilowatt as, as, as get, guesstimating that that's what, oh God, what, what did we have? So, the yeah. 400 square feet. We estimated that 400 square feet, which is what is in Eric's photo, mm -hmm. and Eric, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, 400 square feet would generate 10, 10, kilo. 10 kilowatts. So, uh, I think it should be 500. Uh, so, I'm, I, yeah, so I think using slightly older technology, we're looking at 20 watts per square foot. So, um, but that's 2,000 square feet would give you. But that's older. Yeah. So people get we're, we're concerned about um, uh, square footage, not about the output. So that if we glibly say that up to 2,000 square feet of panel gives you 40 kilowatts, that right. that's what we're saying, and then. And then a large SES can go up to 20,000 square feet, which would give you roughly 400. Mm -hmm. Which we're we're guessing. Right. Yeah. And, and, and that's conservative. That's using not the 380 watt per panel numbers. It's, it's, that's um, conservative. That's, that's using slightly older technology that isn't quite as powerful. Right. But I still feel okay telling people, yeah, you get about 20 watts per square foot. If you have a thousand square feet, you're going to have uh, 20 kilowatts. All right. Anyway, I'm going to okay. run. Uh, once once we get this finalized, I'm going to send it to Mark Bollinger and ask him to. Yeah. Would you check our math? Please? Yeah. Yes. Do we want to work off the words and yes, not worry so much about the numbers? Yes. Um, but anyway, we I think we have numbers now, which. Mm -hmm. We can, yep. we can go with. All right. So then, um, Rich Maggie, you have something. You wanted to move something up from below. Oh yeah, the. Uh, uh, that the oh, paragraph I see, I see. Uh, large SES might also. I, I wanted to add that might also require mm -hmm. significant upgrades. Yeah. Um, and include that as kind of the last sentence of this first paragraph below large solar. Um, and mm -hmm. then I'm actually cutting off that, the existing last sentence where it says the board believes that projects of this scope, that, that would actually start a new paragraph. Yep. I see. That's okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that would go down into the, the next paragraph. Correct. Okay, so that would lead lead the next paragraph. That would lead the next paragraph that starts with and, applicants proposing. And so, would we leave in the last lead? No. No. It's just note, right? No, just Not just even. just say large SES. Okay, large. It's large SES. Okay, yeah. got it. So that that will move up as the last sentence in that first. Yep. That first. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God. If I can read this, it'll be amazing. I got it, John. You, you got it? I got it. Okay. Uh, it's good to have redundancy. So, uh, And then uh, you want the large capitalized in the yep. SES in the next? Yeah. Sure. Okay. And um, in this section, we discussed this last week. Uh, I, I would recommend just saying a conditional use permit. Because it's what we did with the senior housing, and if we have to write up, we're going to have to write up um, stuff either way. Uh, but with a special exception, they have all of those 1040 requirements, mm -hmm. which I don't think we'll need, uh, or we might. I, don't, I mean, it depends on what the board wants. When, you know, when, when uh, everybody's here. But I would just have a, a CUP and not do the special exception. Because we should decide at this point. Right, right. I, 
I wrote down, we need to choose. Yeah. And so you've convinced me <laughs> that the uh, that we, we have conditional use in the senior housing. And yeah. that was not too painful to find. So no, we, do the same we, thing we did it. Um, okay. I mean, I was surprised, frankly, at the time, but the uh, council told us that she didn't ask. She said, make it a CD. Right. So, yep. you know, okay. it's okay. Good. Good. Just take out a special. Uh, yeah, okay. so just take out or a special exception from the zone. Sounds mm -hmm. good. Um, and then, anything else in that paragraph? Um, and then you have something in the, what is now the final paragraph. Yeah, um, I wasn't here when you may have had a discussion about the scenic roads, but uh, the first, the second comment is probably the uh, easier. Isn't Highbridge Road also a scenic road? Because I, uh, I was looking, yeah, I believe, and it's something from 2008 that was indicating it was. Yeah, I'd have so. to go back. I have them all but I, I think I think this no, has got I'm all of them, them. Yeah. except that one. But uh, okay, uh, so I was, so should I should I add that or? I think it, yeah, we should. I mean, yeah, we've listed I, all of them except for hybrids. So I, I think you're right, Rich. I think I remember. I have to look it up. And think high bridge is a road, not a street. It's high bridge yeah, road. Okay. Okay. And hard gravel was not. Hard scrabble's a lane. Oh. Oh, it's hard. It's hard scrabble. Yeah, hard scrabble. Oh, I don't know. Hard scrabble is seen? I know. Let me go mm -hmm. grab a book that has all that okay. listed and then okay. we can just play and knock that out. All right. Yeah. 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 So I'm just curious. I mean, I would think I wasn't around again for March, but I would think that there might be conditions where they could be allowed. As I think the issue is, are they visible mm -hmm. from the road? Mm -hmm. um, I think, yeah, part of this, let, let's decide, oh God, we, have to, we, we don't want to wait. Um, I think part of the discussion was that if, if it went through a scenic road, they might have to do wide cuts uh, with, because there might not be. Power line up there. Yeah, yeah, I think that was the reason. Um, well, those houses on the scenic roads are getting their power from someplace. Yeah, but the, the three phase, uh, if they don't have the three phase, and they, they might render them no longer scenic. Exactly, that was the point. <laughs> the three phase, they'd have to cut a slot for them, and they're, you know, they're. It's not allowed. Uh, I think it could be allowed. I think the point, uh, because it might not want the, to be encouraged. It might not want to be encouraged. Right. I think that you know the um, the scenic roads, well, they have some legal protection, but not much. It's more of like just keep in mind that these are scenic roads. Um, so I, I would leave it for the. Well, I shouldn't say for the time being because we're not going to have the time being. Hard Scrabble Lane is not a scenic road. And High Bridge? Yes, High Bridge is. Good catch. So, so yeah. I think that was the reason. Uh, there was a lot of discussion yeah. about if if you needed three phase power, you're really going to have a major cut. Yeah. The smaller ones are still. So on. so does that mean that three neighbors on um, on one of those roads put each put in a, a maximum size system and the power company can still go and cut all the trees to make big, bigger power lines? If they needed to, yes. They, they, but without a, they would need a planning board hearing. Uh -huh. Because anytime you do tree trimming on a scenic road, the planning board has to approve. I don't know, I just felt like we were kind of picking on scenic roads a little bit. Um, I think that was the intention. Um, yeah, because we were thinking that there's going to be three phase, so we're going to have to add so a lot of that, power to lines and would that have to go, does that in fact have to go through our process? Because we could just say no. Well, the power company comes to us and says. I, I mean, my, uh, my recollection of the discussion was that I mean, basically the sense of the board at the time, the yeah. people who were here, was that we, we just don't want to go down that road. Fine, that's fine. 
Yeah, I think my uh, my comments. I'm, well, I'm, I'm open to it. Um, if no, I mean we may get comments from people. Well, let's let's find out exactly yeah. if somebody exactly. says, "Oh my God, I was hoping." Well, right. That somebody on Highbridge yeah. Road says, "Well, wait a minute." You know, yeah. I want yeah. to. Yes, yeah, I mean that's exactly the the point. Right. Yeah. So that's yeah. Right. Okay. So you're, you're suggesting you're, you're willing to strike the I'm, invisible firm. Yeah, I'm, yep. I'm saying strike the invisible yep. firm. Yeah. Okay, but we're not putting that in. We're not putting that in. That's yes, right. Okay. I think we have everything we need. Mm -hmm. So, uh, he'd be, I'll, work, I'll work with you again. So, um, I was just completing the... Yeah, Orchard this, Railroad is another... Got to see it? Parts of it, from Pinnacle. From Pinnacle to... to the upper Stone House. Okay, yeah. River Road, Washburn Hill. Okay, so. Well, um, River, actually, River Road is not all scenic. River Road from North. East Thetford to the. Right. Just say River Road North. So your part is the right. No, I'm in, the, I'm in the other. Maybe we take out all of the, the roads off name and we just say not be allowed on Town Scenic Road. That's okay with me. Anything where we're saving, saving space. The other, I mean, the other way to do it would be to say, and parts of River Road, yeah. Orchard Road Road. Yeah. So you want to keep them in? I think it's nice. Okay. I keep yeah. naming them. Let okay. people know. But All right. So, so Acorn Hill Road, yeah. Breck Hill Road, Washburn Hill, Highbridge. What is it? Parts of which? Orford Hill Road from Pinnacle to Upper. Oh, we don't have to do that. Just we'll just say parts of. Yeah. Exactly. Parts of River Road and Orchard Hill Road. And Pico. Pico is the entire it's, road. It's all of Pico, yeah. All right, so. So. Yeah. Um, could I suggest a little bit more efficient? I mean, work with you, but then send it out because comments and we edits. We can't. We can't. That's. I think that that's not true. Okay. Because this is a flow chart that shows that as long as you're not making decisions. You can you can it, share information. We can Very share. true on that, but the town council has um, basically said they don't want to see um, conversations back and forth because it can lead to that happening, and so the, that has been um, the premise that we've had to work I'm, under. I'm just looking for data. Yep. No, I edits. understand that, but and I um, think that that, that so it would make it so much more it efficient. It would be would. all done. It absolutely would, but town council is... We're, we're not going to argue with the law. Our law. Well, since, since she's proven herself inaccurate in other instances, <laughs> I would <laughs> argue with her, but okay. Yeah, I, I, I think um, it's, it's, a, it's just... So let's go over what we want to do, and maybe there's a way to, to right. make that efficiency. So I you, and I, you and I are going to just go over the editorial stuff and get those things finalized. In terms of the, the numbers, as soon as it's finalized, I'm going to send it to Mark Bollinger. At, and I will urge him either to respond quickly or to tell me where else I can go for the numbers. Mm -hmm. At that point, once I get numbers back, I will send it out through David to the entire board. Mm -hmm. and, it, and David, tell me if this is okay. At that point, anybody from the board could... Well, we can just do it at the next meeting. But I was thinking anybody from the board could could communicate with back to me, mm -hmm. or could communicate with Hebe, yes. Well, or, Hebe, why, yeah. why don't they communicate with you and Hebe, mm -hmm. so that that's yeah. so it's official? Yeah. And so, no, um, then it's yes, not considered that's, a, that's what I'm trying to get at. Is yeah, okay. Can can I be in on that as a chair? Or I can I can send it as long as it doesn't become a conversation. Right. right between board members. That's well, the Phoebe's not a board member. Yes, so right. it's that's just you and me and Phoebe. I'm, 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 I keep saying I that. answered to Phoebe and Heidi. It's all I'm right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to know. I have to. I have to. Heidi? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and hey, you, right? <laughs> okay. So uh, yeah, so, so, so that's the plan. And and okay. maybe that'll move yeah. things along. And and yeah. everybody can, can get their... So we'll work it out, and then they will send it out. Yeah. And everybody will send remarks back. To me, and then I can get it. I will right. channel. And I can do the final cleanup. Right. And then and next, the be, next meeting, we'll we are we are determined to finish with this. And send it to Mark Bollinger even before. No, no. But I, what I want to do is have 
you and I will work to get a yeah. final yeah. draft with, with provisional numbers. Yeah. I, I want to get it to Mark before, you know, way before the next meeting. So if, if you can, I know you work fast, so. Mm -hmm. David, what's, a, what did, what's the date of our next meeting? Three weeks from tonight. That's our next meeting? Yep. Yeah. Oh, we can't hear we skip away. Hold on, give us a second. And you're looking at May, so it would be May 12th. Okay, and Tim has a question. Maybe you guys already talked about it, yeah, but in the second paragraph from the bottom on page two, to protect forest land and to start downtown areas and bird leaves, dog jetsing as projects are inappropriate are appropriate only in the rural and commercial district. If we put it in the rural and commercial district, we're not protecting forest land, right? Well, yeah, I, well, I think... Now, I, I said, maybe, no, no, we no. say you shit? I mean, you you no, say? no, because we can phrase it differently, but the point, I know what that came out of. That came out of the discussion about um, wanting to protect unfrag uh, unfragmented forests, so we're, so we're not putting it in the in east line or the mountain forest district. Right. Now, I think, well, it's, maybe it's not a big point, but, it, but it's true that we're, we're not really protecting the forest land if it's in the rural or partial either. So. Well, we can say to help your capital. I don't think it's a big deal. If people come back and say, well, you're not protecting the forest land in the rural district, we'll deal with it. Yeah, that, great. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you for the feedback. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, it's uh, 9.15. I know you all want to get back to see who your favorite NFL team draft is. Oh, oh my goodness. Yes. I know you've been sitting on pins and needles. Okay. So, um, Everything else I have to wait for next time. Uh, I would like to close the meeting if uh, if I can get an agreement. And actually, John, I, I had sent that note yeah. about agenda items. I don't want to take this up now. Yeah. And I also want to say I'm not upset about what what happened. What I really would like is is uh, to see if we can come up with a better That's way fine. of organizing meetings. I'm well, totally let's talk about it totally tonight. into constructive anything that helps. Great. Okay. Not a problem. Um, all right. Uh, Hebe will be. Uh, Next thing is coming from me. All right. Okay. Me to you. Beautiful. Uh, and um, I guess that's it. We can thank uh, you, Hebe, for doing this. Yes, thank, thank you so much. Yeah, what a great help. Do you need a motion? Uh, that was a motion. <laughs> yeah. a, as much of a motion as I can do at this point. All right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.